Let's do an example to see if we understand term symbols. Let's look at this example. The sodium emission line, is called the D line, is actually a doublet rising from the n equal 3, l equal 1 to the ground state, which is n equal 3, l equal 0. And it's the valence electron of sodium which is giving rise to the emission. What are the two term symbols for the excited state? Let's take a look at this. Let's first look at the electronic configuration of sodium. It's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and then 3s1. These inner shells here uh, don't contribute to the angular momentum. They're all paired up and everything is canceling out, so there's no angular momentum contribution from these inner shell electrons. So we just have to focus on the 3s electron. s means that it's an L equal 0. That's the quantum number L equals 0. And we have one electron which implies that we have s is equal to 1 half. Since we only have one electron, we don't have to worry about coupling with other electrons, so we can immediately go to capital L is equal to zero and capital S is equal to one half. So that's the ground state. The problem states that the excited state from which the electron is going to fall to the ground state in the mid light is n equal three L equal one. The excited state the n equal 3 l equal 1 that is a 3p so there's one electron in the 3p if we do the same sort of analysis there a p orbital implies that l is equal to 1 and since we have a single electron we can really say that capital L is equal to 1 if we have one electron that implies that s is equal to 1 half since we only have one electron capital S is equal to 1 half well, let's now look at possible J values. So J here can be L plus S to L minus S. The only value of J, L plus S is one half, L minus S is one half. So the only value of J here is J equal one half. On the other hand here, J can go from L plus S is three halves to L minus S, that's one half in integer steps. So J here can be three halves and one half. Two values of J here for the excited state, one value of J there for the ground state. What this means is that for the three S state, we have a single, this can be written as L equals zero means it's an S. That's the term symbol not the total spin. 2s plus 1 that will be a doublet 2 and only one value of j that will be 1 half. The p excited state will be actually two energy levels because you have two values of the angular total angular momentum and that will give rise to as we saw energy depends on angular momentum give rise to two energy levels. So here with three P electron, we have, let's see, L equal 1 means it's a P state, S equal 1 half means it's a doublet, so it's a doublet P, a doublet P. Now we can't use Hund's rule to determine which of these two states is a lower energy because Hund's rule only works for ground state. But it turns out that <laughs> famous words for a professor to say that the three halves j equal three halves is a higher state and j equal one half is a lower state so there are the energy levels so the emission is a doublet because you have two energy levels here so if we now look at the emission line intensity versus frequency we'll see a doublet there's a doublet so that yellow line, that D line that you see from a sodium light, for instance, an arc light, that actually is a doublet. And the difference between these two lines is, let's see, I looked that up, uh, 0.5974 nanometer. All right, so that's a very, not very much uh, energy there split. So these energy levels are close together.
there. In fact, let's actually calculate what the energy level separation is. That would be the energy separation here, given this wavelength. So we know that the energy level delta E will be Hc over lambda. Well, H 6.63 times 10 to the minus, well, let's use 2, 6, because we have four significant figures, minus 34th. And uh, I think this is 3, maybe that's not correct. To four significant figures, so it's about 3 times 10 to the 8th, divided by the energy level separation, which is uh, point 0.5974 times 10 to the minus 9th, everything in SI units. This energy separation comes out to be 3.327 times 10 to the minus 16th joule. So that's the energy level separation between here and here, which in wave, uh, wavelength in nanometers is not very much.